Now, kids, we've talked about uh, Batman. We've talked about the Lone Ranger, a cowboy hero. Xena, the warrior princess. And I mentioned earlier there are other kinds of heroes. And sometimes you're a hero just by speaking up. And sometimes you're a hero just by communicating to the world and letting people know that you have creativity in your heart. So this next piece was written in 1945. And it was written right during World War II. And it was published. And the gentleman who made it famous was somebody that the kids might enjoy watching on tape or on DVD, Danny Kaye. Okay? And kids, I have a question for you. Of all the instruments in the orchestra, there's only one that makes this noise. Um pa pa um pa pa. What is that instrument? Anybody know? It's got a big mouth. A tuba. And it does have a big mouth, but it also has in this piece you're going to be hearing, and in the story I'm going to tell you, it's also a story about courage and the knowledge that you have it in you. All of us have it in us to be better and to be uh, creative and to speak up. And when Tubby does speak up, his whole world changes. So we're setting up the stage for some friends of Tubby to join him. You'll hear from the frog. He's riveting. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear from uh, Pippo the Piccolo, and there'll be some other uh, surprise guests uh, along the way. So, without any further ado, I'd like to welcome once again to the stage the maestro who's delivered in his 34th year with Civic Symphony, Max Hobart, <laughs> along with our soloists. I know I'm thin, but I have to make room. That's why I'm thin. They don't hire heavy set fellows to do this. Not enough room. Are we ready, Maestro? Are we ready? Okay. Once upon a time, there was an orchestra, which was all busy warming up. First, the oboe gave his A to the strings. To the woodwinds. To the brass. Up and around the scales they raced helter-skelter, faster and faster. Tubby the tuba, a fat little tuba, puffing away, but oh, so slow. Oh, what lovely music, thought Tubby, and he sighed. Here! What's the matter, said Peepo the Piccolo. Oh, said Tubby, every time we do a new piece, oh, you all get such pretty melodies to play, and I never, never a pretty melody. But people never write pretty melodies for tubas. It's just not done. Oh, oh, there's the conductor. Shh. First, the violins danced the lovely little tune on their strings. Then, they cried to the flute, catch. Got it, cried.
by the flute. My turn to the trumpet. And they all played the cellos. The oboe. The bassoon. Tubby picked up the flat little tune and he tried to squeeze it back into shape. You clumsy fool, snapped the violins. I'm sorry, Mr. Fiddle, said Tubby. <laughs> Fiddle indeed, said the violins. And they quivered with great indignation. You will please address us as violins, fiddles indeed. Tubby said the conductor, Tubby, what is the matter? Please, sir, uh, I thought it would be so nice to dance with the pretty little tune instead of going oompa, oompa all the time. Huh, dance, laughed the violins, dance? Well, really. The French horn quietly put his hand to his mouth and smiled. And the whole orchestra began to laugh. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it, cried the conductor. Stop it, I say! Stop! Tubby? Please, sir, I wasn't laughing. Rehearsal was over. Tubby was walking home with Peepo the Piccolo. said Tubby. I just feel so bad. I, I don't think I want any company. I understand, said Meepo. Good night. Uh, good night, said Tubby. The moon was out. Tubby went to the river and sat on a log, and he looked at himself in the water. Alone am I, me and I together. If, if I went away from me, how unhappy I would be. Me, me and I, oh my. Ah. The trees whispered in the wind, the waterfalls tinkled, and an old owl hooted. <laughs> Suddenly, a big bullfrog hopped out of the water and sat down beside him. <coughs> bug up, bug up, lovely evening, bug up, bug up. I said, lovely evening, clunk, clunk, 
cluck, cluck. I said, beautiful evening. Hello, bug up, hello, bug up. Hello. But Tubby, well, he just sat. Oh, well, said the frog. Oh, well, if I'm not wanted. <laughs> Oh, uh, please, Mr. Frog, uh, uh, cried Tubby, come back. I didn't mean to be impolite. Back up the frog. Oh, that's all right. I'm used to it. No one pays any attention to me either. Really, said Tubby? Why, of course. Every night I sit here and I sing my heart out. <laughs> but does anyone listen? Uh, no. Can you sing? asked Tubby. Can I sing? <laughs> Just listen. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, said Tubby. You try it, said the frog. Oh, thank you, said Tubby. Say, you're a very fine tuba. Do you know that? <laughs> Tubby, you should try that on your orchestra sometime. Oh, I will, said Tubby. Goodbye, Mr. Frog. And off went Tubby, as happy as happy could be. There he goes. Hmm, said the frog. Most appreciative audience I've had in quite a long time. Fine musician, that tuba. Bug up, bug up, lovely evening, bug up. Burg up, I said lovely evening, clink, clunk, clunk, clunk. I said beautiful evening, hello, bug up, hello, bug up. Good night, Brivet. <laughs> the next day, the orchestra was busy tuning up for the big rehearsal. And buzzing with excitement over the arrival of that great new conductor, Maxwellini Hobartsky. <laughs> Tubby practiced his oompa, and you know, he smiled to himself. Peepo the piccolo, Peepo caught his eye. Feeling better? Uh-huh, winked Tubby. Here he comes, called the French horn. Here comes the maestro, Hobartsky. All right, all right, I begin. <laughs> and Tubby began to play his own little melody. Oh, that wretched tuba, snapped the violins. He'll disgrace us. The trombone stuck out his tongue. Bleh. And the trumpets snickered. A tubby, said Signor Hobartsky. Tubby, I've never heard a tuba play a melody like that before. Let's, uh, you know, hear the rest of it, eh? Oh, said Tubby. Oh, ho, ho. Why, how perfectly wonderful, said the strings. Please, Tubby, may we sing your tune? Two? How about me, said 
the xylophone. May I, said the Celesta? Here I come, called the Celesta. Here I come, called Pipo. And they all play together. It was the bullfrog sitting right beside him. We have our points too, don't we? Oh, thought Tubby, how happy I am. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Maestro Habatsky. Yoda for borrowing his voice for the frog. It, it, was, it came in handy. Boy, I'll tell you, this is so much fun. And this orchestra is, I should tell you, if you don't know them personally, they're just some of the nicest people and so talented.